Hey guys, welcome back. You probably have seen me drive my motorcycle in several of my movies, or even in Marty's movies, so I thought I'd give you a little tour of my motorcycle that I drive here in Jogja. So I purchased a Yamaha Soul, red and white, in the year 2013. So as you can see right here on my speedometer, I have 9,000, about 9,900 kilometers on my bike so far. So it's really awesome when I go grocery shopping, especially when you have bags that have um, handles on them, because my motorcycle has a hook right here that I can place my I can place my groceries right here and they won't fly off the motorcycle. And I also have space still for my feet, so I can get on like this and still have my feet here, and my groceries are safe right there. My motorcycle is really awesome as well because I carry this backpack pretty much everywhere I go and so it usually has groceries in it or clothes to go to the gym or whatever but I can also sit on it and put my bag right here and I still have a place for my feet as well. So sometimes the kids, you'll see in our videos, sometimes the kids will carry the bag on their back but usually it's right here in between um, my legs in front of me, nice and secure. Another thing I love about this motorcycle is when it rains, my feet are on the inside here, and so when I get all the splash from the rain and from the road, I almost always stay pretty dry here. And at the end, I'll have a little clip of me and Sarah and Seth coming home in the rain, and you can see how we're all decked up in our rain gear. A little extra, a little bonus. My motorcycle also is pretty cool because it has this extra space underneath the seat. So to get underneath the seat, I take the key and pop it to the left and uh, the seat will pop up. So there's a pretty pretty good spot, pretty good space underneath my seat. Um, usually it has all of our rain gear, so Marty's jacket, my jacket, Sarah's, Sarah's jacket, as well as Seth. It's a pretty good spot in here. I also use it to keep my Bible in sometimes. It's, now you can see it's a good size, like that. And my Bible will stay nice and dry in there. My gas tank holds about four liters of gas and the access to the tank is underneath the seat as well, right here. So I just filled up recently, so I have about probably half a tank. Something else that I really like about this motorcycle that's really helpful with kids is that it has these extra pegs here. So these foot pegs are for Sarah and Seth when they ride with me. Another really unique thing about my motorcycle is that I can have my kickstand down and ignite it at the same time. So, so a lot of motorcycles, the engine will die when you put your kickstand down, but mine doesn't. You might notice that my license plate is red and white. That's because this is the license plate that they give to you, which is like a temporary license plate, and the ones that you're officially supposed to have are black. Like this one. <laughs> this is the official license plate. I went and stood in line for over an hour to wait for my official license plate, and they said that there was a shortage of license plates, so it has been Oh, a year and a half, and I still have my temporary license plates. Also, something unique about Jogja is that all license plates that are from Jogjakarta start with this A and B, so that's an interesting side note. This bike balance is super easy, so it is a really nice bike, and it feels really smooth. Sarah has been able to ride my motorcycle a little bit to practice, so I'm going to show you a little bit of her skills. Okay guys, that's all for right now. Hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the little clip of Sarah and Seth and I coming home from the grocery store in the rain. Please subscribe, share this video, like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.